So you want to wire install a mod chip. Well stay tuned and let me show you how. To start off, you will need your soldering equipment. Some extras that I highly recommend but are not really needed are some flux and a pair of helping hands. You will also need a pair of wire clippers and some wire. I'd recommend using 30AWG, it's perfect for mod chip installs. I'm doing a dual color theme just to add some flair. That's it, not much is needed for the mod itself, but of course you will also need the Xbox teardown tools, which are Torx 10, 15, 20, and a flathead screwdriver. First, remove your motherboard and you will be focusing your attention at the LPC pins, which are located here. The LPC consists of 16 pins, but you will only really need to use the ones I have highlighted in red. I've labeled two 3.3 volt pins, you will only need to use one of them. Also I've labeled the D0 point in green, this point is different on different Xbox versions. So if you have a version other than 1 or 1.1, I've provided you with these extra pictures. 1.2 through 1.5 on your left and 1.6 on your right. You will need to locate your wire install section on your chip, this is usually grouped together. Next, you will want to figure out where you want to mount your mod chip. I will be mounting it here, though unless you're going crazy custom, this spot will not work for you. I have big plans for this Xbox, and this spot really puts the chip on display. Once you have picked a spot, do a rough measurement of the length of the wire you will need. Keep in mind that the shorter the wire, the better. Sometimes mod chips can be finicky if the data has to travel too far. Then solder those wires to your chip. Then use the pinout I provided earlier to match up all your points. I would recommend doing your D0 point last as it's the most difficult to solder and is easy to pull off once it's done, so be very very careful. Now that your mod chip is all soldered up and mounted, put your Xbox back together and give it a test. If you are successful, you should be greeted with your new BIOS. Usually, it's a form of Linux, as others are technically illegal. There are plenty of resources online to help with the reflash of your chip. Personally, I like using the Auto Insar Deluxe or Hexen. Thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial was able to help you. If it did, please leave a like. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and subscribe for more modding goodness. You can follow me on Twitter at TechnoOnTop for channel updates. Also, a huge shout out to Pauly T because without his generosity of gifting me this mod chip used in the video, there would be no video. He likes to stream on Twitch every now and again, so if you're into that, give his Twitch a look. I will have a link in the description. Also, check out my last video where I show you how to add LEDs to your Xbox controller. Till next time, peace.